Are you reviewing the Philippine Constitution? If not yet, then it's time to practice your general information skills. Today is Philippine Constitution Test 1. Answer each item with your comment below. Then let's discuss them. Let's start. Number 1. The official motto used in 30th Southeast Asian Games is what? Which is the correct answer? Letter A. We care as one. Letter B. We play as one. Letter C. We win as one. Letter D. We will as one. Letter E. We work as one. The correct answer is letter C. We win as one. Your clue is the word win which does not only refer to Filipinos winning for their countrymen, but also for the whole of Southeast Asia. Despite the competition happening between the 11 ASEAN nations, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam, we win as one because of the relationship we have with our neighboring countries. Number 2. On August 16, 2018, the government announced at least blank Philippine holidays for 2019 as declared by virtue of Proclamation No. 555, Series of 2018. Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A. 16? Letter B. 18? Letter C. 19? Letter D. 15? Or letter E. 14? The correct answer is letter B. 18. This declares the regular holidays and special non-working days for the year 2019 to be observed throughout the country and issued by Malacanang. Number 3. Which of the following statements best describes the relationship between global warming and ozone depletion? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A. Ozone depletion contributes to global warming? Or letter B. Global warming causes ozone depletion? Or letter C ozone depletion and global warming have nothing to do with each other. Or letter D excessive buildup of carbon dioxide causes both global warming and ozone depletion. The correct answer is letter A ozone depletion contributes to global warming. The tip is to determine which one goes first. Letter C is already wrong because of the word nothing. While in letter D, the word both is making it wrong. Number 4. It is the only Philippine province with an English name. Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A Cebu? Or letter B Mountain Province? Or letter C General Santos? Or letter D Zambales? The correct answer is letter B Mountain Province. This is a very obvious answer. For letter A, the name Cebu came from the old Cebuano word Cebu or Cebo, meaning trade, a shortened form of Sini Banghang Pit, the place for trading. For letter C, General Santos comes from General Paulino Santos, who directed the pioneer settlement, mostly by Christian Filipino migrants and the development of the Coronadal Valley that began in the mid-1930s. While for letter D Zambales was derived from the word Samba, meaning worship, because the Spanish supposedly found the native inhabitants to be highly superstitious, worshipping the spirits of their ancestors. Number 5. What form of government does the Philippines adopt? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A Republican? Letter B Democratic Letter C Neither A nor B? Or letter D Both A and B? The correct answer is letter D both A and B. The Philippines is a republic with a presidential form of government wherein power is equally divided among its three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. Number 6. Who among the following may issue a warrant of arrest or a search warrant? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A. A senator? Letter B. 
a judge. Letter C, a congressman. Or letter D, the president. The correct answer is letter B, a judge. If the complaint, or one or more affidavits filed with the complaint, establish probable cause to believe that an offense has been committed, and that the defendant committed it, the judge must issue an arrest warrant to an officer authorized to execute it. Number 7. A foreigner may acquire Filipino citizenship through blank. Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A naturalization? Letter B extradition? Letter C rebirth? Or letter D visa application? The correct answer is letter A naturalization. Foreigners, who do not have Filipino blood, nevertheless, can obtain Philippine citizenship under number 4 of the enumeration through naturalization. Naturalization signifies the act of formally adopting a foreigner into the political body of a nation by clothing him or her with the privileges of a citizen. Number 8. What is regarded by the state as a primary social economic force? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A education? Letter B Trade Letter C Labor Or Letter D Commerce The correct answer is Letter C Labor Labor is a primary social economic force and is mandated by the Constitution, the state shall protect the rights of workers and promote their welfare. Number 9. According to Article 3, Section 15 of the Constitution, the writ of habeas corpus may be suspended in times of rebellion or what? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A martial law? Letter B war? Letter C terrorism? Or letter D invasion? The correct answer is letter D invasion. Article 3 Section 15 of the 1987 Constitution stipulates that the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended, except in cases of invasion or rebellion when the public safety requires it. Number 10. The lower chamber of the Congress of the Philippines is known by what name? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A Senate? Letter B Congressional Lower Chamber? Letter C National Assembly? Or letter D House of Representatives? The correct answer is letter D House of Representatives. The Philippine Bill of 1902 mandated the creation of a bicameral or two-chamber Philippine legislature with the Philippine Commission as the upper house and the Philippine Assembly as the lower house. Number 11. A member of either House of Congress may be expelled by their fellow members. For a member to be expelled, how much of the total number of members of a house must concur with the expulsion? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A two-thirds? Letter B majority. Letter C three fourths. Or letter D nine tenths. The correct answer is letter A two thirds. Each house may determine the rules of its proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and, with the concurrence of two thirds, expel a member. Number 12. If the president wishes to veto a bill, he or she must communicate it within a certain span of time. Otherwise, the bill will become a law. How long is this span of time? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A. 3 weeks? Letter B. 48 days? Letter C. 60 days? Or letter D. 30 days? The correct answer is letter D. 30 days. According to Article 6, Section 27.1, the President shall communicate his veto of any bill to the House where it originated within 30 days after the date of receipt thereof. Otherwise, it shall become a law as if he had signed it. 
A veto bill may still become a law if two-thirds of the members of the House where it originated votes to make it a law. Number 13. What project of the DENR that includes the protection of industrial pollution of our environment? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A Bantai Kali Kasan? Letter B Bantai Log? Letter C Bantai Doggett? Letter D Ecological Watch? Or Letter E Solid Waste Management? The correct answer is letter E solid waste management. The Philippines has endeavored to improve its management of solid waste through the passage of RA 9003 or the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act. That provides for a systematic, comprehensive and ecological waste management program to ensure the protection of public health and the environment. Number 14. What government agency does the status of government employee in the free voluntary services belong? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A Secretary? Letter B Regional? Letter C Municipal? Letter D National? Or letter E Barangay? The correct answer is letter E Barangay. Number 15. Which is not a ground for impeachment of the President, Vice President, Ombudsman, and Senator? Which is the correct answer? Is it letter A graft and corruption? Letter B sexual harassment? Letter C grave abuse of the authority? Letter D against the family if the child scolded by the parents? Or letter E other crimes? The correct answer is letter D against the family if the child scolded by the parents. This is a very obvious answer. According to Article 11, Section 2, of the 1987 Philippine Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, the President, the Vice President, the members of the Supreme Court, the members of the Constitutional Commissions, and the Ombudsman may be removed from office on impeachment for, and conviction of, culpable violation of the Constitution, treason, bribery, graft and corruption, other high crimes, or betrayal of public trust. All other public officers and employees may be removed from office as provided by law, but not by impeachment. That's it. Don't forget to comment below your answers. I hope you got all correctly. If not, watch again this video. If you have any suggestion for the next video, feel free to comment them below. Good luck and see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe.